Hello everyone and welcome to Memory Flow where we discuss fragrance and fragrance collecting. So it's here. <laughs> we are talking about um, the new Shalimar, the new Milazim Tonka, the second edition to this hopefully ongoing limited edition flanker collection whatever this is but boy is this exciting so i've i've opened it i filmed the the romanian version and i'm i cannot keep i can't contain myself from smelling my wrist this is amazing stuff it is just great it's beyond words so let's just refresh this here to get that expansive beautiful opening there it is oh so first things first i don't know how to begin um this is the new millezim tonka there have been rumors online about this um ever since september i guess uh, it's been a it's been a very full month um, with rumors of uh, of this uh, of this fragrance. It is now October fifth when I am um, when I'm filming this and um, it has arrived. I have it and now we're talking about it. So last year we got uh, this uh, Milazim Planifolia, Vanilla Planifolia. You know about it. Um, I'm not gonna. Um, um, talk about it here again uh, but this kind of tells me that um, Guerlain have I, I, I'm speculating I don't know what's going on but maybe maybe we are uh, seeing the start of a, of a new collection of uh, limited editions that would probably finalize in uh, 2025 with something grand something um, uh, to be able to truly celebrate the the birth of uh, Shalimar, the hundred years of Shalimar. So yeah, 2025 will be very important for Guerlain, I suppose. Um, but until then, I guess we will continue seeing um, some Shalimar, some Milazims, uh, probably uh, following the Galinad, which is very interesting. I'm, again, I'm speculating, but I would love to see a Milazim Rose or a Milazim uh, Iris or, you know, everything from the Milazim Jasmine, um, including Milazim um, Bergamot. Why not? Why not? Um, so it's interesting um, to do that. It's interesting for them because I think it would be more in tone with what La Relamatière was supposed to be in the first place. You know how La Relamatière started um, as um, one grandiose fragrance for each um, premium material um, uh, dear to Guerlain. This is what uh, La Relamatière was supposed to be, but now things, of course, got got a bit far from the core concept. Because we and we will talk about them um, in a future video, because uh, you know they have the three ouds now, and as far as I know, Guerlain have no. Um, haven't worked with oud before, so I don't know if oud is uh, a dear uh, material to Guerlain, is a material dear to Guerlain, so I don't know about that. Um, but this, uh, um, uh, these fragrances, uh, these millésimes, if they truly come to be, um, I think they would um, exemplify the, the Guerlinade in a way um, very much um, uh, as I would expect Guerlain would do it yeah because they do kind of kind of stem from the original um, Chalimar which is you know the, the Guerlinade in its highest form so yeah that would be interesting if indeed that um, will happen I can only hope so how does this how does this new millezim um, tonka smell like it's interesting that they don't oh, I've, ne I've actually seen this for the first time let me just check the other bottle because on the um, huh 
huh, interesting. So these are the new um, the, the, the bottles for the Millezim. This is Millezim Vanilla Planifolia and this is Millezim Tonka. And as you can see, there's nothing written there on the um, on here. I don't know how you call this. <laughs> I don't know how you call this, it's the, the label, right? Uh, there's nothing written here, which is interesting. I don't, I don't mind it, I find it interesting and a bit maybe odd. Um, um, but uh, what I wanted to say that this, uh, of course, uh, this is the label, uh, the vintage Chalimar label that you can find on the, um, the X-Tray and the, on the Chauve-Souris bottle, the Bat you know, the bat bottle, um, which was used, uh, is used for the x-ray and uh, people that can find vintage Shalimar in, uh, which is nice, it's a nice touch, and for Milazim Tonka, uh, it is black. And also, um, interesting about this fragrance, again, is that it divagates, it, 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 um, it strays quite far quite far away from the core concept of Shalimar. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, the opening of Shalimar, which for some people may be a good thing because I know a lot of people who don't, um, who dislike the Shalimar opening, have no problem with the rest of Shalimar, but that um, clash between um, um, citrusy bergamot and um, sweet vanilla they just don't stomach it this is a good thing um then again uh the whole fragrance is quite quite far away from uh from shalima and if i were to venture um a guess because this is incredibly familiar to me it's like it's nothing i've smelled at Garlan, as far as I know, um, and nothing I've smelled in the realm of Shalimar. But if I were to venture a guess, I would say this is quite similar to uh, the um, hypnotic poison Dior kind of thing, line, whatever. Um, it's in that ballpark. And what this is, it is a almondy tonka very buttery very creamy very powdery very expansive very loud very um i don't know it's 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 huge this is a huge grandiose fragrance it is it is so beautiful and also um you will get this beautiful contrast between this buttery tonka and this pure white almost soapy um neroli slash jasmine so a white flower accord this is so beautiful it's like a contrast between day and night and it what it does what this contrast does it balances things out it will not be overpowering and it also brings up even more the 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 smoothness the butteriness the the fullness the roundness of the um, tonka bean right so it is it is gorgeous it is awesome um i just can't wear i will wear this today uh i will i will it is finally here okay um so in terms of availability i'm sorry to say this flew off the shelves seen people complaining um in the last week on the internet it it flew off the shelves um it's available for a short time here then it's quickly sold out so oh i don't know what they're doing it's it feels almost like planned uh what's that word i guess exclusiveness i guess it, it kind of makes you want to um search for it buy it um collect it you know uh, it is it is something for the collectors of course and this will be i i guess this will be um remembered as something truly truly unique i i dare say even more so than um vanilla planifolia this is just my it's just my guess again i'm speculating uh then again this is even more to my taste 
than vanilla planifolia because as I said uh, vanilla planifolia is not so much in my to my nose about vanilla it's more about a rosy benzoin which is fine it's great it smells amazing but I did see this before at Guerlain now this I haven't smelled at Guerlain um, ever ever since so yeah never before so yeah it, it is beautiful it is yeah yeah it, it's amazing i'm gushing over it and i'm so happy i was lucky enough to get a bottle so um yeah this is this is it this i don't know what else to say about milazim um tonka it's a beautiful fragrance it um announces itself as something very very big very grandiose very it fills a room I can I can feel it in the air I would have because I do have to film something else today um, it is the ouds I will film the three ouds today <laughs> just so you know so you know what to expect in the future um, so I will have to let some air in because uh, this is powerful stuff so yeah um, thank you for watching if you have any more questions do let me know in the comments and until next time, remember, fragrance creates memories and may yours be happy.